It's a witch. Of course not. Witches have brooms. Out on Blu-ray on the 10th of December is the 50th anniversary edition of Mary Poppins. And this past week, the original stars of the film hit the red carpet in Hollywood for a special screening. Uh, well, I, if you've got kids, or grandkids, you should have this movie in your house. You know, uh, The Wizard of Oz just came out in 3D, and it looks pretty good. I, I hope that someday they'll do that with uh, Mary Poppins, make it a 3D movie. But, oh, there it is. That, that's it on, on, uh, on Blu-ray. <laughs> do a little commercial here. <laughs> so I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad. My father gave me nails a tweet and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word that saved me aching nose. The, the biggest, biggest word you ever heard, heard and this is how it goes. Oh, super kind of predators Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super kind of Super califragilistic, it's bialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super califragilistic, it's bialidocious. I'll, I'll skip the dance part. If you <laughs> well, I can still do it, though. I, it hurts, but I can do it. Gathering his nest has very little time to rest while gathering his bits of twine and twig. Though quite intent in his pursuit, he has a merry tune to toot. He knows a song will move the job along. I want to thank everybody for coming and, and uh, helping us uh, celebrate Mary Poppins' 50th birthday. I don't know how that can be. I'm only 50 myself. <laughs> but it's hard to explain what it was like to do that movie, what the feeling was. I loved it so, but there was something different about it. Right from the first day, there was a magic in the air. It, we felt like we were on board something that was knew where it was going. We were just kind of along for the ride. I had so much excitement. And I was always thrilled with the fact that the first day, my first scene, I got to sing the song, Winds from the East. There's mist coming in because something is brewing and about to begin. And I got a chill. I thought, boy, something is about to begin. And every day we went home saying, oh, we couldn't wait to get back the next day. It, it was like floating. It, the dancing was hard, but uh, it was nothing. It was a breeze. I, I can't remember. I could do it now, but it would hurt me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and Walt would come down every day and and see that smile on his face, and we, we knew that we were bringing it to life, and, and he enjoyed. He, everybody called him Uncle Walt, but we had a kind of a secret between us that we talked about. We knew that inside we were both nine years old, <laughs> and we promised never to grow up, and neither one of us ever did. But every time I hear the, the strains of a chim chimney, I'm back on that pavement with my chalk in my hand. For a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down, medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in a most delightful way. But 50 hours ago, I was actually in this self-same cinema for the premiere of Saving Mr. Banks. And that was actually really eye-opening to me. I had no clue what went on behind the scenes because um, <clears throat> everybody was really polite and protected the children. Um, but what did strike me was, you know, I was eight when I made this movie, and uh, Walt Disney was eight and put out to work by his parents, but under very different circumstances. He had to deliver newspapers for his dad um, when he was eight years of age in the snow and rain and really had a horrible childhood. And I always wondered why Uncle Walt, as I was lucky enough to call him, 
were so special and wonderful to me and so, so kind. Um, he brought the whole of my family out here, my sisters and my mom, and housed us in a gorgeous mansion that I wish I still had, um, <laughs> up in the Hollywood Hills with a, an indoor heated swimming pool. That was very different too, coming from London. And uh, you know, outside speakers playing the sounds of that new group, the Beach Boys. Um, it was magical. Uh, on the weekends, he gave us his private plane, of course, it was called Mickey Mouse, to, uh, should have been Dumbo, actually, um, to fly off to his Santa Barbara ranch or to Palm Springs or whatever. And, you know, incredible experiences. He didn't have to do any of that. And I just twigged it the other night, seeing Saving Mr. Banks, which you've got to see. It's an outstandingly fine film. Tom Hanks playing the icon Walt Disney, you know, from icon to icon. He... Uh, he was so kind to me because he wanted that eight-year-old child, if she was going to work, to have a magical experience. It's her. It's the person. She's answered our advertisement. The rosy cheeks and everything. Ellen, you may now show them in, one at a time. Yes, sir. You may come in one at a time. Thank you. 